Ready? Mm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Say so welcome to the new weekly vlog. New weekly vlog. So I Mommy? Yeah. You know, you know it's a joke? What? What does it, what does the sun made out of? I don't know. Eggs. Oh. And you know what else? What? Toast and chicken and eggs. Mm. Good morning guys and welcome to the new weekly vlog. So, last, last week, um, I was just a bit all over the place. Come on baby, I'm put on a bubba. Um, quite... Hang on, I'm going to explain about last week first. So I didn't get to do a second video and my vlog didn't go up until today, which is Thursday. It's been a crazy, crazy, crazy week. And as you know, like vlogging is just a hobby and stuff for me. It's not like it doesn't pay my bills. Um, what, babe? What? Okay. Um, like it doesn't pay my bills or anything like that so it is purely just a hobby and I enjoy doing it but this week has literally been so crazy and no more no more it has been going to get your bag go get your bag Kai has gone to camp so it is Halloween midterm. Halloween was on Tuesday and yeah, it's just been a crazy week and it, I just really struggled to pick up the camera. But we are back, we are rolling. And um, yeah, I just wanna thank you for your patience. Um, we are midweek, so it is Thursday now already. This week is flying. The guys are all on Halloween midterm, so Lee's been off. Um, Kai is off. He's actually doing a Halloween midterm oh. camp. Mommy, yeah. Oh. Is it broken? Mm -hmm. Daddy fix it? Yeah. Yeah. Daddy fix it, Dillo? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, he usually says, Daddy fix, Daddy fix. Okay, two seconds. I'm just going to put these back up there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to catch you up. So Halloween midterm. Colin's doing Halloween a midterm sort of camp um well school midterm i suppose uh he's absolutely loving it he's doing swimming he's doing swimming down there and he's absolutely loving the swimming so i think myself and he are thinking about putting him in doing swimming lessons like once a week or whatever because he's really really enjoying it um so yeah i think that's it halloween was tuesday halloween was absolutely crazy we all dressed up we went trick-or-treating, we went to like a little Halloween party, Lee's mom had a Halloween party, everyone dressed up for that, it was really really fun, it's, it is a shame I didn't take the camera along but it, it has been so hectic like I can't even tell you and I still feel like I am doing nothing but rushing around. Um, today Lee has just brought Kyle down to camp, it is about 20 to 10, I think camp starts at 10 o'clock. Um, I'm going to ring my mum, see if she wants to head to town. I kind of want to go to town for a while. I have a masterclass tonight, Diane Everett's masterclass. It should be really, really good. It's on down the Head Park Pharmacy, so I'm really, really looking forward to that. Next week, next week's vlog is going to be epic. Um, I have the Penny's summer, spring, summer um, collection. Super, super excited for that. And then Wednesday, I have a Real Techniques dinner um it's a like it's a big it's a biggie and i'm super excited they're two huge events and it's always the same they always run into the same week as each other like it's so typical but um yeah i'm really really excited cannot wait for the real techniques one i remember how excited i was last year for the pennies one and we went up to the headquarters and i literally feel like i'm gonna explode with excitement for that one too so they're going to be good and I'm going to take you along with me and I'm going to film as much as I can. Um, but I don't want to be like that weirdo at the dinner with my camera. I've just been like, hey, hi. I'm not going to be doing that either. So we'll wait and see what happens. Um, but yeah, God, I feel like I'm rambling. Okay, today, there's no dead cert plan. I know my sister's going back to Dublin. I want to go to help my mom. And yeah. 
we shall wait and see what happens. Actually, yeah, I know I want to go to town with my mum, so um, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what happens. Hey guys, so it's a bit later now. It is half twelve. My mum got called into work for a few hours, so I'm just hanging around to meet her. Meeting her about half one, one o'clock ish. Oh, so soon enough. Um, we have this little boy, so I need to get him dressed. Don't we, Dillo? So we have Buzz. Buzz? Yeah. Yeah, we have Buzz up here. Um, what did I want to show you? Oh, I got a package in the door. I can't really show you because it has my dress and stuff on it. But here it is, I'll show you the side. I'm going to open this up and we shall see what is inside. Okay, I'm going to do this over here because the hole is here. It's like my makeshift stand, shall we say. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I recently done a video on Elf. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it down below. Um, I just reviewed a couple of e.l.f. products and i done like a first impressions slash tutorial using some of the products. And in it, um, I mentioned that uh, one of my favourite things that I used was the primer. I even have it on today. I use it every day since that video and I'm in love. I absolutely adore that primer. Um, it doesn't have that real tacky, sticky feeling but still gets it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. You, you really need to feel it yourself. It's not like most primers. It is quite silicone-y, which I like. I know some people might not necessarily like that. I love that feeling. Completely smooths over my face, covers in my little pores, my fine lines, my dehydration lines. It covers everything, so I was like, I'm all over this. And it really does prolong the wear of my foundation as well. But in it, I said I really wanted to give the colour correction ones a go, especially the green one, because this time of year, my skin tends to flare up. I get a lot of redness, I, especially around my nose. I have constant redness around my nose all year round, but I was like, I really want to try it. So they said, look, we really enjoyed your video. We're, we want you to send you out the green colour correction primer. So I was like, oh my God, that's so nice. So they sent that, but they also sent this. It's a lip exfoliator mint. Manic. Oh, it's like a green lipstick. Okay, let's let's open this up and see. So if you haven't tried Elf yet, I 110% recommend that you give them a go. Um, I loved everything I tried apart from the massager brush, which looks like a mermaid tail and it was all rugged. Oh, look at the dino heads. It smells. It smells really minty. It looks like, it actually looks like a green color corrector. Um, like a lipstick color corrector, you know the way some um, makeup brands do it. So, let's see. Gently exfoliate lips to help remove dry, chapped skin. Fused with vitamin E, shea butter, avocado, grape, blah, blah, blah. Apply clean, damp lips, and massage in a circular motion to exfoliate. Use a moistened cotton pad with water and gently wipe away scrub follow with the lip balm or gloss to condition okay so i'm actually going to use this this morning because i was just about to put on my lipstick but my lips are quite they are quite dry so i could do an exfoliate on them so i will let you know how i get on with that and i already can tell i can already tell this is gonna be my favorite primer of the winter i just know it um and i'm gonna sit down and record my october favorites as well I'm gonna do like mommy and my favorites. So what the kids have been loving and what I've been loving. Um, I'm gonna get around to doing that now. But um, there's a few things that I wanna do in town. There's a couple of singles on. So I'm gonna go in, have a look. Do I need anything? No, I 100% don't need anything. But I think it's, you know, one of those days where you just feel like treating yourself. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, treat yourself. So I'm gonna treat myself to something. Something nice. Hey guys, so I don't know if you can even see me, but it is about 20 past six and I am on my way up to Diane Eric's masterclass. And there's loads of people looking at me now in the car. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, I'm just on my way up here now. I'm going to meet Rachel. I'm out of breath now because I've just been eating. 
I'm gonna get a stitch. But yeah, I'm really excited. Haven't been to a masterclass in a while, so yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> you'd have just previously watched was Diana Everett's masterclass it was really really good she is super knowledgeable when it comes to like skincare and makeup she's been in the industry a long time so she really knows what she's talking about um but I'm going to quickly go through what I picked up myself and our goodie bags because they're both pretty amazing um I'll probably go through what I got first um, so two things I picked up are from Fleek and Fleek was the range that she was kind of demoing so there wasn't like foundations and stuff in the range so she couldn't use everything um, but I picked up a lipstick that she didn't use but when she said it was a mustard toned nude I was like I'm all over that I don't have a shade like that in my collection so I was like I need it and then I picked up a pair of lashes as well. I always pick up lashes from that range. They're like six euro and they're really reusable up to 15 times. So they're the exact same as some of the other um, lash brands that cost like 16 euro and they're all reusable as well. I get that, but so are these and they're like less than half the price. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the biggest thing I purchased, the one I'm most excited about. and. An, if you watch a couple of vlogs back, I was supposed to go to the official launch for this palette up in Belfast, but it was just too much of a journey to get up and back. It would have been, I think it was like seven hours travel to get to the event, like up and back. So it, it just wasn't worth it. But it is the Be Perfect LMD master palette i have one palette that i want to review already it's the mac Pris oh, i can't remember the name of it now but lee picked it up for me in amsterdam um i haven't touched it yet i haven't used it and i'm itching to get at it but i i just don't i want to like capture like my first impression on camera so i haven't used it so i'm going to do the same with this one oh, i'm going to try and restrain myself from using it and do like a first impression slash tutorial on this palette as well um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I got this in the health park. I know these are really, they're like gold dust at the moment. They're really hard to get. She literally just got them in stock. They hadn't even put them out on the shelves yet. And myself and Rachel spotted it and we're like, can we, can we buy these? And she was like, yeah, yeah. And the whole box was gone. So I don't know if she had any more, but once we took them out, everyone else picked them up. They sold out of that box. So yeah, I don't, like I've heard nothing but rave reviews about it, but I will definitely let you know what I think personally. So anyway, these are the Fleek lashes that I went with. These ones here, they are vamp. So they are shorter on either end and longer in the center. So I will probably use these for more of a domed eye rather than a wing. Um, So when I don't have like eyeliner on basically um, is when I'd wear these lashes. So got them and then this is the mustard um this is the mustard nude now it is nude but it's a really unique shade um i have absolutely nothing like this in my collection and i know lee is probably looking at it now thinking you have about 50 million shades of those <laughs> but i actually don't and i'm so excited to have them like i can't remember the last time i purchased myself like a big palette like that so i'm really excited to use it but our goodie bags were absolutely bloody amazing so the first thing i spotted in the the goodie bag i was like oh my god like these are unreal i think these palettes are in between 20 and 30 euro it is the flawless smoky eyeshadow and highlighter palette and i know rachel got the daytime kind of one um 
but I actually don't have like a smoky kind of palette as such. Um, I remember looking at these and I think I actually preferred the smoky palette as well. I will open up and swatch all these but I'm not going to do it now. Myself and Lee are literally sitting down. I've had such a long day. Lee took the kids. Um, I was just hanging around with my mum. It's actually really nice to spend one on one time with my mum with no kids. It was nice to get like one on one quality time with mum because I can't remember the last time I did that and we literally just chilled out. We just walked around shops and we chatted and it was just really, really nice and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I got onto that when I was going through the bag. Anyway, I always get so easily distracted. Anyway, next thing I got was this brightening sheet mask. Um, it is two non-woven fabric sheet masks, so I think there's two in here. And it says it lightens dark spots and brightens your skin. And these are only two euro, amazing. Um, masks are essential if you have dehydrated skin. And let's be honest, I think 99.9% .9 of people living in Ireland have dehydrated skin. So you should always be using some sort of mask on your skin. Um, I also got these hand packs. I'll probably give this to my mom because my mom suffers really, really badly with her hands. She always gets like dry hands and stuff. Um, they kindly put in a bottle of water they also popped in one of these fulfill bars i'm not massively into like these protein type bars it is a cookies and cream one sounds fab like it looks like there's an oreo on the bar but yeah probably just give this to lee if you want to try there you go give that one to lee and he can let us know how it tastes um next thing when i seen this i was like no way i was like what Still, I've not tried these again. This is another kind of mask, um, and these L'Oreal ones have gotten so much hype. Um, L'Oreal is like a budget friendly brand, and there's no price, the price is actually taken off them. There's no price on it at the moment, but these scrubs are meant to be unreal. Well, what's it taste like? Is it horrible? <laughs> it's like half Oreo, really. Oh. <laughs> it's really bad okay so they get a no from me but like some people are into that I, I don't like them either I just I don't they're not I, they're an acquired taste shall we say um okay so cleanses and brightens and exfoliates the skin it is a clay mask I actually am trialing a clay mask from Bare Minerals at the moment. Um, when I spotted it, um, Lloyda, the girl that works Bare Minerals in Waterford, such a lovely girl. The thing I got um, is the Sleek True Colour Lipstick. It's a matte one. I'm presuming this is a mini lipstick. Like, I, I don't have time. I just don't have the energy to open it. We also got a nail file. I actually needed one, believe it or not. And I always mean to pick one up when I'm in pennies and I always walk out without it. Then we also got this Matte Me lipstick in the shade Old Hollywood. And it's like a real pinky berry kind of colour. Very, very autumn winter. So I'm very I'm vibing off that right now. That's the goodie bag. Um I have to say it's one of the best goodie bags I think I've ever gotten. Um, at an event, apart from the Data Blogger events, because let's be honest, we kill it when it comes to those good bags. But yeah, that's everything I got. I'm really excited to try everything out. Um, but for now, I'm gonna just try unwind. My feet are throbbing from walking around all day, and yeah, I'm just gonna chill out. We're gonna watch something next. Good morning, everyone. It is just twenty past nine. Kai, sorry baby, Kai has his camp now in, at 10 o'clock. So tell him what you're doing in your camp. Swimming. Don't shoot with your mouth open like that, it's not nice. Yeah. He's swimming, he's out to swim and he's loving it. I actually feel kind of sick right now. I don't know what it is, but I work at 12. I'm only there for a couple of hours, so it's fine. I'll be in and out. And then I'll get to hear about your last day of camp. I'm so excited for you. Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited, Mr. Nugent? 
So the boys, I don't know if I said this already, the boys are eating their canty apples. The date was up today, so I said, look, give them for their breakfast. So yeah, it's kind of like our last little celebration for the week, our Halloween midterm. Um, it'll be back to school until Christmas to Santi. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, so very, very, very exciting couple of weeks going up. Um, I, I want to tell you guys so bad, I really can't. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to go to work at 12. I'm going to vlog up till then. And I'll vlog when I come home, as I said yesterday, because I won't have that many days to vlog. So I need to try and fill it somehow, but yeah. Me and this dude are going to go get him ready for camp, aren't we? We're going ready for camp. Hey guys, so it is quarter to nine. Um, I am still in my work clothes. I actually still have my coat on. Since I came home, I've had my dinner and everything. Um, I'm going upstairs to get changed. Because I still have not finished editing last week's vlog. It's so bad. I usually upload them on a Monday. Today is Friday. It's not even uploaded. Hang on. I'm going to get dressed. Be right back. Good morning, guys. Um, so it is just quarter to ten, I think. And we have been up since nine o'clock. I am feeling a little bit worse for wear. I'm not going to lie. I went out for a few drinks with the girl last the girl the girl the girl <gasps> went down for a few drinks with the girls last night after work and I got home at half two. Do you remember the bear? Do you remember the bear? One ish. Mommy, do you remember yes, the bear with the Frank? I don't. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but the boys have been watching this new program on Netflix called Super Monsters, and they're loving it. So if you're looking for a new show for your kids. Give this one a try because the boys are loving this one. Um, but yeah, anyway, I went out last night and I'm just, re I'm not hungover. Really, I just feel kind of a little bit headachey. Um, but I'm just more so tired. My hangovers have now turned into just tiredness. Just tiredness. And obviously, I need a bundle of energy for them, so I need to like get myself up and away because I'm going to cook a really nice breakfast. <laughs> What is it, Dillo? My mom, you want to see this? Say bye. My mom, see this crazy guy? Bye, Daddy. Mommy, you want to see bye. this? Sure. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. So it is... Oh, it is 20 to 1. Um, Kylan's asleep on the sofa. Dylan didn't go down for a nap. I tried to put him down, but he didn't sleep. So we have been chilling. I'm going to try to put him up now in another half an hour to an hour. I'll wait and see. Just gave him some lunch. Oh, I just got chills. Um, I just gave him some lunch. I'll wait until Kai wakes up. I'll give him his lunch then. Actually, see what they're doing. Dylan is just eating some apple. Is that yummy apple, Dillo? Yeah. Is that nice apple? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're a little sad. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Can you apple? It's apple. Can you apple? Apple. It's apple. It is, baby. It's apple. Yes. But. And Kai is over there. I don't know if you can see this is on the head there. Um, so, yeah. I have decided not to upload the last week's weekly vlog it has it has been like a week since i uploaded um so there's just no point um because i'm uploading my new weekly one tomorrow and like there's no point having them side by side because it just get confusing so unfortunately there's going to be like a week break but the thing is as i explained like life has been crazy and i like I am I don't want to put like too much pressure on myself. Um but obviously I, I want to keep up a routine and a schedule. Um but look, that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna keep dwelling on it. It's fine, it's done. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to upload whatever footage I have so far and I'm going to continue to vlog the rest of this day and then I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow. So next week's vlog is going to be so freaking exciting. I have two really, really amazing events. I have one in Waterford. No, I don't have none in Waterford. Oh my God, I'm just so tired. Please excuse me. I have one in Dublin and it is the Penny's Spring Summer Collection. So it's like a sneak peek before it comes out to the public. I'm going to take you guys along with me. And then on Wednesday, I have a dinner. I've never been to a dinner before. I've never been to a blogger dinner. So I am really excited. I'm nervous. I don't know what to wear. So that's kind of where I'm at. Probably should have had a look for something to wear for that. It's not till Wednesday though. That's the only thing. We're going to have those two really, really amazing events. And that one, sorry, is about real techniques as well. It's one of my favourite brush bands ever. It's, I think it was the first brush that I ever bought myself as well. So it's very nostalgic for me. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at, at the moment. I'm just trying to keep myself together keep this family together today I am um, my I don't even have a hangover anymore it's pure and utter tiredness um I'm just so tired <laughs> I could literally go to sleep now and probably wake up tomorrow at the same time okay so I am midway and all I can think about is a chicken roll <laughs> a chicken roll and a can of coke like I just I really want one and Lee is playing a match this morning and I don't know how he got up for a match because he and a couple of the lads were in ours last night and they stayed up and watched the UFC and the UFC isn't in our time. Um, so it was on till about six o'clock in the morning here and he's just so tired and he had to get up then for nine o'clock to go to a match for 10. I'm sorry, it won't be me. But yeah, I'm just, I'm looking at the time now. Surely, surely he'll be home anytime soon. It's now half one. So, you know, I really want a chicken roll. Like, I really want one so bad. Hey guys, so I don't even know what time it is. It's like four or five o'clock. No, it's about four o'clock. Um, <gasps> Dylan went down for his nap at Dennis half three. Dale is so lucky. Why? Because I found diamond. Wow. Me and Kylan are literally just lying down. I just literally got in. Now, I have this blanket around me. This is the blanket that I picked up in pennies. Um, the reduced one, and it is the cuddliest blanket ever. It's perfect for a lazy Sunday. Wow. Well, oh, I see. Oh. Kylan is back to school tomorrow, so we're back to our routine. Just when I figured out the routine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just when I figured out a routine. I your hand wait. Move. Sorry. I talk with my hands all the time. <laughs> it's so silly. Okay, I'll try not to, to move my hand. I won't move it. It's barricaded, okay? It's all moved. Okay, okay um, so just when I figured out like my routine for YouTube, like the weekly vlog and <laughs> the weekly vlog and my second video, midterm came and threw me all off and then, stop baby, and then I had no videos up this week, but yeah, I spoke enough about this week in the vlog so I'm not going to go into it again but yeah it was just a crazy one um mentally physically emotionally it was a hard week and I just didn't want the I just didn't want that to really come across in the vlog you know uh yeah so I'm not gonna rumble on too much um, myself and me are still both off tomorrow. I'm actually not back in work till Friday now. Um, Lee is not back to college till Tuesday. So there's a couple of things that I want to do tomorrow. I want to have a look around in some T.O.Y. shops. Um, first stuff coming up. You know yourself. Um, and just start sussing oh things God. out, you know. It's going to creep up on us before we know it. I think there's like seven weeks left. 
Look at my crazy puppy. <laughs> right, we're going to say goodbye for this week. Stay bad. Say, see you later, guys. No, 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 no. Say, subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to Mommy's Poo Poo channel. That's not very nice. Subscribe <laughs> to Mommy's Eyebrow channel. Eyebrow channel? Subscribe <laughs> to Mommy's Seed channel. What? Subscribe to Mommy's Head channel. <laughs> Mommy's Head. <laughs> Subscribe to Mommy's Head. <laughs> Subscribe to Mommy's eyebrow head. Subscribe to Mommy's eyebrow head. <laughs> Subscribe to Mommy's eyebrow nose. Subscribe to Mommy's eyebrow nose. Subscribe to Mommy's eyeball. Eyeball? Subscribe to Mommy's clock. What? <sighs> okay, you're going crazy. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> okay, we're going. We're going. See you in next week's vlog, guys. No. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed these videos, and we will see you in our no. next one.